क्वेश्चन नंबर वन द बेसिक फिलोसफी बिहाइंड दिस क्वेश्चन इज योर थर्मल स्ट्रेस एंड थर्मल स्पेन एंड योर प्रेशर सो क्वेश्चन इज द प्रेशर दैट हैज टू बी अप्लाइड टू द एंड ऑफ अ स्टील वायर ऑफ लेंथ टेन सेंटीमीटर टू कीप इट्स लेंथ कॉन्स्टेंट वेन इट्स टेम्परेचर इज रेज बाय हंड्रेड डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड सो वी हैव अ स्टील वायर एंड वी नीड टू अप्लाइड अ प्रेशर ओवर हेयर एज ए रिजल्ट अ थर्मल स्ट्रेन विल बी डेवलप्ड इन दिस वायर एंड थर्मल स्ट्रेन थर्मल स्ट्रेन विल बी गिवेन बाय डेल्टा एल बाय एल दैट इज इक्वल टू अल्फा डेल्टा टी एंड ड्यू टू दिस थर्मल स्ट्रेन अ थर्मल स्ट्रेस विल बी डेवलप्ड दैट इज नथिंग बट योर थर्मल प्रेशर सो प्रेशर प्रेशर ड्यू टू दिस थर्मल स्ट्रेन इट विल बी इक्वल टू वॉट वाई इन टू अल्फा डेल्टा टी वेर वाई इज द यंग मॉडल अल्फा इज द कोफिशियंट ऑफ थर्मल एक्सपेंशन डेल्टा टी इज योर चेंज इन टेम्परेचर सो दैट इज इक्वल टू वाई वॉट इन द वैल्यू वाई इज योर टू इंटू टेन टू दर इलेवन alpha is 1.1 10 to the power minus 5 and delta t is your 100 and after solving it you will get the answer that is 2.2 10 to the power 8 pascal hence the answer is your 3 question number 2 the basic philosophy behind this question is your force on a conducting wire due to a magnetic field Work done by external agent in moving that wire, and average power uh, average power delivered uh, by external agent. So question number two is: A conductor lies along a z-axis at minus one point five to one point five meter and carries a fixed uh, current ten ampere. So in this wire, we will have a magnetic force F that is equal to I L into B. This is the force on this conducting wire. After putting the value, you will get F is equal to current is your 10 ampere, length is your 3 meter, and B it is given as 3 into 10 to the power minus 4, e keep e to the power minus 0.2x. Since in this question, power delivered is asked, but it is not mentioned. It is instantaneous power or average power. but according according to the question we have to calculate average power delivered by this external agent so first we will calculate work done work done w will be integral of f dot dx and limit will be from x is equal to 0 to x is equal to 2 after putting the value after putting the value we will get w is equal to 3 into 3 that is 9 into 10 that is 90 10 to the power minus 4 e to the power minus 0.2x dx solving it we will get w that is 90 10 to the power minus 4 e to the power minus 0.4 minus 1 divided by minus 0.2 so now we have to calculate p average that is average power that is total work done divided by time taken and time taken is given that is 5 into 10 to the power minus 3 and solving it we will get the value 2.97 watt hence answer to this question will be 4 question number 3 the basic philosophy behind this question is conical pendulum and angular momentum so a bob of mass m attached to an inextensible string of length l is suspended from a vertical support so we have a bob which is suspended by a length a string of length l like this 
and this pendulum is rotating conically with angular velocity omega at this point this bob is going inside and at this point the bob is going out outside let the length of this wire to be l string to be l and the mass is m it is a conical pendulum so from this given diagram this is your l vector and velocity is inside so we know that angular momentum is given by l is equal to m r cross v so r direction of r will be like this this is point of suspension that is o and v is inside so by doing r cross v the direction of angular momentum will be like this call it to be small l and at this point the direction r vector will be in downward direction velocity will be in outward direction direction of angular momentum will be like this just see the direction over here and here is different so the direction will not will not remain uh, constant but magnitude if we talk about magnitude the, this angle is your 90 degree the magnitude mod of l is what m this is your l into v and it is sin 90 degree the value is your m l into v which is constant which will remain constant the magnitude is constant but l vector is not constant because the direction is changing hence the answer will be answer will be your one question number 4 the basic concept behind this question is your error the question is uh, testing your knowledge of error the current voltage relationship of diode is given by that is i is equal to e to the power 1000v divided by capital d minus 1 and its unit is milli ampere take minus 1 on other side then i plus 1 will be equal to e to the power 1000v divided by capital t so we have to find error in i so take log both side take log both side so ln i plus 1 will be equal to 1000v divided by t now differentiate differentiate it so we will get delta i divided by i plus 1 that is equal to 1000 into delta v divided by t since t is constant t is given that is temperature it is constant from this we can get the value of delta i that is 1000 delta v divided by t into i plus 1 after putting the value of delta v i and t we will get the answer that is 0.2 milli ampere hence the answer to this question will be 